Welcome to lab assignment number two. For this lab assignment, we are going to be um, doing a little bit of review from last time and making some frequency distributions, histograms, and frequency polygons, along with um, a calculation of mean, median, and mode, um, and our measures of variability. And then we're going to be learning a new statistical uh, technique today uh, where we will be computing z-scores in SPSS. So for this first application, number one, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to complete this, and then you are going to go ahead and complete the remaining two applications on your own. So for this lab, you do need this um, lab assignment to hand out, and you need SPSS. And so the first thing we're going to do is click on variable view on the bottom because we are going to have to name our variables. Um, so we always start there. So the SPSS application number one reads, um, using a self-esteem inventory, a psychologist collected data from 22 students in a statistics class and obtained the following scores. Um, so there are the scores. And then it says, enter the self-esteem data in SPSS, name the variable, um, self-esteem and give it a label of your choosing. I'm going to start by labeling this uh, variable self-esteem and remember no special characters or spaces or anything like that. I'm going to hit tab and for this data set it looks like it's all whole numbers so I'm going to lower this to zero uh, digits after the decimal. Okay and uh, then I am going to label it, and so I'm going to give it a little nickname, a shortcut, SE for self-esteem. And I'm going to go back to the data view. Pull this out a little so I could read it. There we go. Okay, and now I'm going to enter in these values. Okay, so now I have all the data entered in to the data view of SPSS. And so the next thing that I am going to do is uh, create a frequency distribution, histogram, and frequency polygon. I'm also going to collect the mean standard deviation and variance uh, because this handout asks for these descriptive stats. So um, to do this, I'm going to do what I learned last lab, and I'm going to go to Analyze, Descriptives, frequencies so make sure you have your SPSS set up like that click frequencies then I am going to move my self-esteem variable over I'm going to click statistics and then once I am in this uh, statistics pop-up box here I'm going to click on mean um, and then it also asks for variance and standard deviation so I'll get those I'm going to click continue and then for charts I'm going to go ahead and click histogram and show normal curve on histogram and click continue and then I'm going to click OK and my output's going to pop up and so what I want to do on this output is I want to start by um, labeling it and so if you look over here you have this log um, and it kind of keeps track of everything that you are putting on the output so then you could go back to it later like if you have a long log you could go oh yeah I need that you know self-esteem histogram let me come over here and click on histogram and it'll take you right to it um, but at any rate I would like to label um, this output so I am going to label it uh, here I'm going to just put my cursor next to this last command and then label down. And I'm just going to label this lab assignment 2. And then next to the frequencies, I'm going to label this SPSS application 1. And you know what? I'm actually going to come back to this. And just kind of mess with the font to make it pop a little more. Let me make it bigger. I'm going to bold it. Let me do another space there. All right, that looks good. The next um, thing the handout asks for is the frequency polygon. So we're going to go back to our data view in SPSS. 
and we're going to go to graphs and then chart builder and we're going to click on histogram and pull our frequency polygon up and then get our self-esteem variable and drag it down to the x-axis and then um, last time we just clicked OK and that was our frequency polygon. But this time I wanted to show you how to kind of play with the graph and make it more precise or make it look how you want it to look. So what we're going to do is click set parameters over here. And then in the anchor first bin custom value for anchor, we're going to set that at 0.5. And then in the bin sizes, we're going to click custom interval width and one. And then we're going to click continue on that. And then we're going to click OK. And it will add itself to our frequency polygon. And so I wanted to show you um, that you can also edit from your SPSS output by right clicking or on a Mac, I click uh, the control key and then my trackpad. And this menu pops up and I click edit content in separate window. And then I can do a lot of things here in this chart editor. So one of the things I can do is change the values on the x-axis to be ones instead of in intervals of five. So to do that, I just click on them and then they highlight like this. And then I'm going to do a double click. And uh, this box pops up. So you could change the text color, you could change the font. Um, so you could play with that a little if you'd like. And then you can also come over here to scale. And where it says major increment, we're going to change that to 1. And then we're going to click Apply. And you'll see that it has changed all these values down here to be 1s. Um, and then you can just close out of that. Okay, so then you can add a normal curve if you'd like as a basis of comparison. You just come up here, click on it. You could do these different types of curves. We're just going to do normal uh, and then you click apply and then I'm just going to close out of this and I see my curve right there on my frequency polygon with my x-axis labeled very specifically. Okay so from there I am going to need to um, enter these graphs into my assignment so that I'll have it for later. Uh, so to do that, I am going to just screenshot my histogram. And then I'm going to screenshot my frequency polygon. Okay, let me minimize my output. And then I am going to put my screenshots here in my uh, lab assignment handout so I have it when I enter the data in the SPSS assignment in Canvas. So I'm going to go to view and then thumbnails and then I'm just going to actually drag both of these in here and there they go. All right cool so let me go back to this and I'm gonna hide my sidebar. Okay so I've completed this now I need to report that mean standard deviation and variance that I got. So I'm going to open my SPSS output back up, click on frequencies. You know, if I wanted to delete something, like say I didn't like how my graph turned out or something, you can just click on it and then cut and it will disappear. Uh, but at any rate, I am going to go back to my statistics here so that I can uh, answer these questions down here. So it looks like the mean was 22.05. So I'm going to write that here. Um, and then it looks like the variance is 14.617, which I'm going to round to 14.62. So I have two digits after the decimal. And then the standard deviation is 3.82. Okay, so now we're going to um, use SPSS to compute z-scores for these following raw scores. Um, and we're going to name the new variable z-esteem. Okay, so to do this, we're going to go to, um, we're going to go back to our, let me minimize this output first. Okay. All right, and then from the data view, we're going to go to analyze descriptives descriptives 
and we're going to pull our self-esteem variable over and then we're going to click save standardized values as variables and we're going to click OK and then actually um, it does populate on the output it makes a log that you ran for z-scores but we're just going to minimize that and we're going to find our z-score calculations over here on our data view um, and so I'm going to go back to variable view and I'm going to change this new variable for our z-scores um, to have just two digits after the decimal so it looks a little cleaner there we go and then I'm going to report those z-scores over here on my um, handout so the z-score for 23 looks like it is 0.25 so I just find the raw score of 23 and then the z-score of 0.25 and so I'm going to put that over here okay and then I'm going to look at a z-score for the raw score of 25 is going to be 0.77 okay and then the z-score for a raw score of 17 is going to be negative 1.32 Okay, and then the z-score for a score of 15 is going to be negative 1.84. Okay, and that completes SPSS application number one. Go ahead and complete the next two on your own. And then once you complete the handout, um, you're going to need it when you enter all this information into Canvas for credit.